Hey guys, welcome back or welcome here if you are new. Hope everybody's having a wonderful week, getting all ready for the holidays. Can you believe Thanksgiving is this month? <sighs> anyway, today I've got a few things to really try out, but one of the things I wanted to try out, this is the um, Beauty Bakery, the Game of Cones. This is a, I believe this is all with mats and shimmers. It says it has mats and shimmers, but I'm not really even, see, they're kind of, let me see if I can kind of show you. See, that's, and this is, I'm getting really shimmer off of everything. See, this is what I would call matte. They all have, they're kind of a different formula. See, there's that there. They all kind of have a little bit of a shimmer to it. So, and they don't really, I don't feel like I have a transition color in here. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't feel like I got a transition color. But, anyway. I'm really wanting to try this color out here. This is really pretty. That color there. I love, love, love that color. And the other colors, that storm, the first one. This here is more like a topper. I really like this purple here. But let's, well, let's just dig in and see what we got here. Let me wipe that off. Um, I think... I think what I'm going to do is, I've already primed my lids, I have the uh, P. Louise base. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start in. I really like this purpley color here, and I think what I'm going to do is grab a, just a flat little packer brush. Here, I'm going to grab some Fix Plus and have that ready to go. And I'm going to grab this. This is my Morphe M421. I'm just going to grab that color. This is Dragon Cone right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pat that right there into the outer corner. I want to kind of do a purpley kind of look. But this color, I kind of played with this a little before. And it's more of a pigmented kind of color that just, if you want a lot of payoff off of it, you're going to have to pack it on there. And that's what I'm doing here. And I want to go ahead and pack that on, and then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to blend him out a little bit. So, let's get that on the lid. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Boy, it's time to clean my brushes. I'm going to go ahead in with this. Where is it? Sorry, guys. Whew, they need to be washed. This is a 441. All the brushes so far I'm going to be using are Morphe's. I'm going to go back into Dragon Cone, tap that off, and I'm just going to kind of blend that edge a little bit. I'm hoping, I feel like I kind of have pink on this. I'm hoping it doesn't come off. It doesn't look like it's going to. But see how it's really, you've got to pack it on and then kind of blend it. There we go. Oh, geez, something fell. Sorry about that. I'm going to grab this and just take a little, very tiny mist. I have a fan going right here, so that really just helped dissipate that. I just barely want any moisture on that, that brush. But I want to really get that, there we go, right on there. I am getting a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. There we go. I kind of want, I want to pack the color on the lid, but then I want just a wash right here into the crease. You can kind of work that into that corner right there. Wow. There we go. The pink popped right on out of there. I have a little smaller brush. This is the 512, which is, it's a little different, but I, I have no product on there. And I just want to, I want to really blend off that edge and really get a nice little wash. I'm using this like a trans, um, I'm using this like a transition color, sorry. Now, you don't always have to use 
a skin color or something you know like that you can use a lighter color what a transition color is is just a color to get you started a light color to start building up because you want to build up that pigment and have a nice gradient where it gradually gets darker you see how I'm darkening up that that inner crease right there a little bit I'm picking up the product tapping off my extra and coming right in there there we go right in there now let me grab I'm gonna grab something for some reason it is it's not really darkening up the way I want but we have another color that we can work with here I hate the fact some of my brushes some of these are older brushes that came out of the Eye Incredibles set from Morphe, and um, they don't have numbers. But, you know, you think that Morphe would want to make sure to put the numbers on the brushes. And they don't, because I'm trying to find something, because I know a lot of you guys like to follow along with these, and it's hard to do when I'm not showing you the exact things I'm using. Okay, well, this is going to be a brush that's out of the Eye, Incre the Eye, Eye Credibles set from Morphe. This is kind of, you see, it's still a fluffy brush, but it's a little tighter. And I'm going to come into this Beats Landing and just pick up some there. And I'm going to come right in to that crease, right? Not above it, not below it, right into it. And I'm going to kind of work that out in that outer V. Just to give that some definition. See how that's really starting to darken that up. And you come Now if you put it eyes like I do, you'll want to come up under your hood. Not don't push it up like that, but where your hood sits. You see that little area right here where the hood sits? Right there. And the reason being you're doing that is if you get the darker color there, I like to kind of mark where it goes and then lift my eye and then I really get in there. I can really go in like that. But when you darken something, it goes back. Now see? See how I did that? And see how that really just made this eye look so much better. It gave me a little more definition. It kind of even opened my eye a little more. It's amazing how just a little bit of shadow can really do wonders. Now I'm going to blend that on the under side right there. Same thing on the other side. It's so hard, so hard to show some of these little tricks. This is like my favorite little trick to do. See how I, I went ahead and heavily put that on. Now I'm going to lift my lid and I'm going to work that in there. And you want to go look back and forth to make sure that you're getting the same color, you know, the darkness. You don't want one eye darker than the other. So, But see how that's really just, I love the way that opens the eyes. You know, it, it really, sometimes it takes sitting down over and over and over again and practicing fooling with your eyes, you know, trying different eyeshadows. I found what works best for me with this type of hood, and if your eyes are hooded very similar to me, what works best for me is to do the dark like that, and then that area right there, I do a nice lighter color so that really just pops and brings it right in your face. Let's go ahead and darken that up and I'm gonna this eye if you pay attention see how this eye is more pointed and when I do this eye it's kind of more rounded but oops give my hair out of the way but when I look at you they look the same. You have to really learn how your eye shape is because everybody's eye shape is different. And even between your two eyes, one is different. So you need to learn how the um, how the shadows sit, and how your eye sits, and what looks best on that eye. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off. I'm using my June and Co. Color Switch. The best thing to do is 
you want to go ahead and clean these off before you use them too much because then you start to stain your brush which I mean that's not really a big deal unless you know you're a little picky like I am <laughs> and I am I'm very picky all right let me go ahead and I'm gonna grab this is that 518 brush and I, no product on it again see no product we're just gonna come right on that edge and I'm just gonna work that edge to really blend that off you can even turn around and dust that off if you feel like that it's picking up more product because it will pick up product and you don't want that to put product where you don't want it there we go blend that edge off you you want a nice smooth edge you want a nice smooth gradient granted you are going to have a little you're not going to be perfect because you are going from light skin to dark shadow so it is what it is okay here we go now now that we've darkened that up there's a couple ways you can go you can bring a little more um, darkness to it a little more smokiness to it or you can you know go brighter what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice tight oh, where is it I can't find it now I need a make uh, a makeup brush. yeah I need plenty of makeup brushes okay I'm gonna grab this this is a flat whoops this is a little flat brush this is the 432 and I'm gonna go into Valor which is the black it's a shimmery black I don't know if you can really see that it's kind of to me that's kind of like why did they even bother I'm gonna go ahead and come as close as I can to the lash line on the bottom and work that even into the lashes see I'm working that into the lashes and right here you don't want to go on the top unless if you're gonna wear falsies if you're gonna wear false eyelashes you may want to go around the top but I'm not so I'm not going that route there we go but I do come right here in the very corner and just cut that corner off just to give it that pull all right same thing on the other side just really you're really working that darker shadow into the lashes and right at that lash line there we go I like to go ahead and get the black out of the way because when I do my face my my foundation and whatnot I like to have that already done so it doesn't mess it up because never fails I always get black on my face if I'm using it heck if I, even if I'm not using it on me I've used it on somebody else and got it on me there we go I kind of cut that in a little bit don't worry about it if you mess up you see I kind of came inward a little bit I didn't like where I set that wing that's okay because you can come in clean that off I'm gonna come in with these two colors right here the blues that I use and I'm just going to kind of, there we go, I'm just going to kind of dust that out. There we go. Just kind of dust that out. And go back in and crisp that black up a little more right there. There we go. There we go. Not perfect, but if it was perfect, it wouldn't be real. <laughs> oh, wow. My nose is running. I don't know what it is. Ever since I broke my nose, my nose has been constantly running, and it's and I can't breathe out of one side. They told me I had a deviated septum, but I had oh sorry guys, I had surgery on my nose one time, and I'm not doing it again. It was horrible. The worst thing was I woke up and I could not couldn't breathe. Let me go ahead and dust off any fallout. Oh, get a tighter brush. There we go. Go ahead and dust that fall out. Ah, and we're still gonna we're still gonna clean up underneath there and put some. Uh, I'm not sure which foundation I'm gonna use today. I may do a new a new thing I've been doing to show you, but um, let's finish the eyes first. <laughs> All right, now I thought about I could go with this color here. 
I don't know how that would look with that. A lot, of, okay, a lot of times if I'm not sure if I know what I'm gonna like, I take the color, like these two blues, I take them and I put them right here. Okay? That's kind of the, that's kind of the look we got going, right? Then I take the color I want to put with it. I'll show you here in just a second. Let me get it in here. And I do it on my arm just to kind of, whoops, just to kind of do, what I'm doing is a quick look on my arm, basically. Here we go. There we go. That is what I did there just to show you the blues and the pinks that I was using. It's better for me to see than you the angle that I did it. There we go. But that is the blues and pinks. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's a great way to try out a shadow without going all in and, you know, changing your mind. Because sometimes we don't like it. But I think I really like that. And I'm using uh, the pink and that storm color in there. And I just like how that comes out. All right. So let's go ahead first off and grab. Uh, let me see how I'm going to do this. All right, first off, I'm going to grab this color here, which is Cakeless, Cakeless Men. <laughs> that is a pink, and I'm going to go ahead and lightly stamp this in right in here. There we go. It's not, there we go. I was going to say it's not packing on very well, but there we go. I'm just going to pack that on there. Same thing on the other side. Just to give that a little place to blend. I'm going to bring that blue in too. Here we go. That um, dragon cone right there. I'm going to bring that in. And I'm going to blend that off. I tapped it in with the pink because what I'm doing is I'm kind of making that into almost a, a purple, like a purple wash kind of. I don't want it to get real, real muddy. I want that pink to stay still a little crisp. So, there we go. There we go. That's not bad at all. That's actually looking pretty. But, kind of mixing them together on the eye. Okay, and now I'm going to bring that, so this is the, this is Dragon Cone. I'm just grabbing that and tapping that back in there because we don't want to lose it. Clean off my brush. Now this look, you really don't have to clean off your brush because you're blending these colors, but I like to. I'm going to go ahead and grab um, Beats Landing, the darkest one, and I'm just going to kind of bring that in that outer corner just to make sure we don't lose that. We don't want to lose that darkness and that dimension over there. There we go. That is looking very pretty, actually. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that final color, and I think I'm going to bring that on a little flat brush. Uh, my favorite little flat brush that I have, and it's so hard to find. It's like the only one, and it's a little short and little buggered. Yes. Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, where? Where? Oh, where? There he is. Ha <laughs> ha. Is that him? Nope, that's not it. It's a little tiny short brush, and it's so hard to find, but it's like, there's not another one like it. I have a couple of brushes that are like, there's not another one like it, so... Is this it? Uh, no. See, I have little ones like these that I use for specific things. Um, and it's funny because I have ones for myself, and then I have ones that I use on clients. Is this it? Uh, I have a couple of them like it that are close, but they're not the same. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. This is, it's an Ulta eyeshadow brush. It came in one of their eyeshadow palettes. That is it there. It is a flat, it's kind of a packer brush, but I just, something about it I really like. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Storm on both sides of my brush. Here we go. Pick that up nice and heavy. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my Fix Plus. I don't want to douse, but I want it kind of heavy. And I'm going to come in. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to come in right here, and I want to keep this real tight on that inner corner. There we go. I keep that very tight on that inner corner. Because I just want to fill in that little spot that we didn't put anything yet. There we go. 
because I'm going to use the rest to kind of blend that little area. There we go. Now, a lot of times what I like to do, because I have loose skin, I like to go ahead and, and not necessarily pull, but hold the uh, eyelid a little taut just so I can get in between and make sure that I've got those any wrinkles or creases filled in. See that there? I was hoping it would be a little more of a pop. There is another color in here. Let's see this one. That might actually, yeah, I think that's what we should have used, but we can still go in and use this one. We'll use this one in the very inner corner. How about that? We're gonna go in into Slay Scale. We're gonna pop that into the inner. Mm, I don't like that in the inner corner. I think that's too dark for the inner corner. But I'm going to go ahead and pop that right on top of Storm. This is Slay Scale. And I'm gonna clean up that inner corner because I'm just not, just not liking that inner corner right there. Sorry guys. <laughs> blocking you there. Sorry. All right. I'm not really, honestly really impressed with these shimmers. I kind of expected a little more, but you know, it is what it is. Let me go ahead and clean. Ah, oh, I put myself in the eye. I'm going to go ahead and clean that out of my inner corner right there. Woo. Okay. Let me go ahead and clean that up out of the inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and clean up any fallout that I may have as of yet, I haven't done my face, so we've got plenty of we've got plenty of time to clean that up. But I like to make sure to go ahead and have it out of there so that it doesn't stain the skin, especially when you're working with some of these darker purples. Sorry, guys, I dropped a breath. Especially when you're working with some of these darker purples and blues and reds, they can really stain the skin, and especially my skin because I'm so fair, everything stains me. <laughs> okay, let's. I'm gonna go in and try. Let's see what this. I wonder if that would what that would do. I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not liking those for the inner corner. I think we'll use something else for the inner corner, but that's pretty much the eye look. What we're gonna get from here. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my. This is the. Um, this was the Eye Incredibles brush from the Morphe set, and it still has a little bit of that blue. And I'm just gonna kind of, just want to kind of clean up that crease right there. It just looked like it was a little messy, and I'm gonna go right. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go right underneath here and blend that. Blend that right on in. There we go. That's actually really pretty. I'm liking this look. <clears throat> where is that? I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me say, where is that? This was the first brush that I used. And I'm going to completely clean that off just because I want to go at the very top. And I want to kind of just clean that up right above my brows. There we go. Now, I think I'm going to pop a little bit of, this has been a awesome, awesome liner. This is Milk Makeup, and this is their, it's a tan color. What is it called again? It is called BCC, and this stuff stays for days. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let me wipe this off. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe some of that that darker shadow off my waterline just so it doesn't mess this up. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this in on my waterline. Look at how much that brightens the eye. And I don't use these a lot, but I have really been loving this. Um, everybody suggested the white before. But I had tried them, and I just, I just wasn't interested in the white. It just really kind of, I, I didn't like it. But I like this because you still, you kind of get, you know, it makes like making a mess here. But it is very pigmented. There you go there. Can you even see it? Let me see if you can see it. It is very pigmented. There you go. And it lasts. 
I got it in black, I've got it in holographic, and I've got it in this color. A little bit of mascara on, and be on your way. Go ahead and finish my face, and uh, I'll be back in a few. I've been doing a little different thing on my face, and I decided, what the hell, let me go ahead and show you guys what I do. Um, my skin's been running on a little dry side, and I just haven't wanted to really wear super heavy, sorry guys, I had something on my lips, super heavy foundation. I've been wanting to wear super, super heavy foundation, so what I've been doing is something a little different, so let me show you. Now I have my moisturizer on and just my regular uh, face products. Um, now as far as like primer or anything, I've been liking this uh, Nicole Concilio. I know I talk about this poor girl a lot. Um, she, I've seen it and I know she has dry skin, so I decided to try it. This is the um, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Quench Primer. I'm going to go ahead and grab about, about that much. I don't want a whole lot and um, I like to go ahead and just kind of put this in areas that I know I tend to kind of be a little drier. How you put a product on, it is more beneficial to press than it is to rub. Oh, let that sit for a second. Ideally, you want it to really sit about 10 minutes. That's like a max. It's like the basic absorption time. Now this is a little sticky, which is good because when you're using um, when you're using a primer, you want it a little sticky. So you and grab. I wish you can get this brush back. This is the Furless. This is the what is this darn thing called? This poor little guy. It is a CB4, and it is. I think it was called the body. It was a body contour brush. I don't know. Anyway, this is the Winky Lux, the Diamond. Diamond powders are a girl's best friend um, in light, and I really, I really like these powders. They're not real drying. They are a pressed powder, and I have hit pan. I like to go ahead and pick up a decent amount, and I like to press. See how that? It's just so pretty, and it's not. It doesn't give you that dry. Uh, powdery look. Everybody, you know, talks about powder foundations and this and that um, on dry skin. I will tell you, I have dry, dehydrated skin, and this is beautiful. Now, okay, I press that in, and then I just kind of go in, and I just kind of buff lightly like that. See, it, it gives you, I mean, you can build this up. Don't get me wrong. See? You can build this up to a nice coverage. I like to go ahead and get the coverage that I want out of it. I tend to go a little heavier on my cheek area just because of the redness. And I get a little red right here. You want to blend it off right in here, okay? Now when you feel you're blended off, you want to go ahead and um, actually be right back. My, um, my primer spray is, or my Setting spray is missing. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so this is ridiculous. <laughs> I have a backup of my Morphe spray, and I can't find it. I have a whole thing of it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and once you build up the the coverage where you want, and actually where it is, I have a little spot that I kind of, I kind of want to get that right in there. Sorry. Let me go ahead and the best way really is to press that. If you press it in, you're really kind of helping with I have texture, see? I'm getting a little closer and you press in. And it just really helps to to smooth that. And you kind of buff. Just light. You don't want to buff like crazy. but the coverage you're going to get from patting. Now, I try to avoid my under eyes quite a bit because I don't like that real dry, creepy look to my under eyes and it doesn't take much for me. My under eyes hate anything. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to take the uh, hangover spray from Too Faced. I'm going to lightly spray some setting spray.
Yes, that's light. You don't want to see heavy. Okay, you want to let that set. I like to go ahead and grab something to fan it with. Try not to move. Try not to move when you're letting it set because it'll, it'll cause creasing. It'll cause little expression lines, you know, it'll just... There we go. You want to make sure that, that dries down. It's nice and dried down. See how that gives a nice, gives a nice, pretty, smooth kind of texture and not, not doing a whole lot to the skin. Now I'm going to go ahead and take and kind of warm my face back up because now we've got a blank clear canvas. I'm going to take this is the um, Fair to Light uh, Invisible Bronzer from Bare Minerals. I've really just been, I've been really liking their products again lately. I kind of hadn't used them in a while and then I went back to using them. Go figure. <laughs> I'm going to grab my Morphe R2 brush from, and this is from that Jacqueline Hill set, the first one. <laughs> Can you guys believe there is another brush set? What the, you know, and what's horrible is there's brushes in there. Those little brushes, I forget, what is it, four, four, five, six? I don't know, he named it something, one, two, three, four. Anyway, and I don't know, I'm hoping you can get those by themselves because I would like to have one of those because they're a tiny brush to kind of fit in. I would really like to have one. I'm hoping you don't have to buy the whole set, but knowing Morphe, you have to buy the whole set. All right, that's just to kind of warm the face up. I like to just warm my cheeks, the perimeter. And there, we have a lot going on in the eyes, so I don't want to, you know, bring too much onto the face. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Laguna. From, um, bronzer but I use this to contour this is my R10 brush from the Jacqueline Hill set the first one I'm gonna just grab a little bit of that on there and just kind of kind of I like to when I'm doing this I like to look in a, a mirror that's kind of like arms distance away and the reason being is you can really see you can really see how that contour is working up close you're not gonna really see what you're getting out of it there we go. I like to come a little higher. There we go. In the cheek, so I can kind of blend right there. But also, when you get older like me, anytime you can make something appear to be lifted, it's always a good thing. I don't really contour my nose except for just lightly down the sides. And then just kind of knock this here. Here we go. Ooh, I didn't like that. There we go try not to get this my my contour has been looking a little muddy lately and that's why I went more with this one because this has got more of those red tones in it even though I don't like red tones on my face I'm just gonna kind of blend that in right there but see it took that kind of muddiness out of there that is very pretty all right now I'm gonna go ahead and grab I forget how you pronounce this palette Tris. It's called Hot Hot Trist. I don't know. It's the I love this. I love this little guy. That is just to die for. These two shades right here, right here down the middle are like my my thieves. I like to go and I'm just gonna use this brush here. And I like to go between these two like this, pick up a decent amount of product, and then doop doop tap. There we go. And same thing, I, I like to, anytime I work in the face, I like to look from across the room so I can really get an idea of how it looks. See, I have a little, see, I want to make sure that it's even on both sides. There we go. Okay, that is that. Now I like to go ahead. It's almost like the buffing technique. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with the buffing technique, the buffing technique takes a, a colored powder and just lightly kind of buff over stuff just to give you a nice, even, nice, clear base. <clears throat> now, uh, as far as 
What do I want to do is highlighter. You know, I got a hold of a little highlighter that I haven't tried yet. So why don't we just go in here and try to find it. If I can find it, we're going to try it. If I can't, why not? Where'd it go? Oh, no. I got an order from Sephora, and believe it or not, when I got the order, the box was open. Like, open, open, and like half the stuff was missing. This was one of the items that was missing, but thank you to a friend of mine, let me get, but I already bought one from Sephora, so I told her maybe I would do a giveaway on mine if I don't like it either, because usually if I don't like, if she don't like something, I don't like it. But this is the, um this brush. This is the um, highlighters from Pat McGrath. Aren't those yummy? I have not tried them yet. They are pretty. Those are the two, those are the two white base colors. And this is the other one. There we go. What just fell? I hope to God. <gasps> it fell out of the palette. Look at this. Oh my God. Just a minute here. I, oh my God, look at this, I cannot believe this, oh my God, guys, oh my God, even, see the little, this piece, it all fell out, dear God, I need my glasses, I need my glasses for this one, I'm going to cry, oh my God, I can't believe that, this is the, the plastic piece that holds it in, and the highlighter, and it's, out of the palette. I don't know what to do with it. Ah. Oh my god, I'm freaking out, guys. Sorry. I'll be right back. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I can't fucking... I can't believe this. I cannot fucking believe this. Fuck. This is fucking insane. Fucking insane. I can't believe this. That's bullshit. That is fucking ridiculous. I cannot. I can't believe that. Mm. did anyway guys as you saw it fell apart. I don't know if you guys saw or not but I had to pause it because one of the highlighters out of my Pat McGrath fell out actually it's not even my Pat McGrath this is a borrowed one and here is the highlighter <laughs> anyway I did not realize this was recording I apparently had messed up somewhere and uh, probably I'm gonna have to fix this but anyway Guys, I hope you enjoyed the eye look and what we you saw of the face look. But have a wonderful day, and I shall see you soon. And I'll give you an update on the problem with the Pat McGrath. Ugh.
Bye.